Hey friends, it's Pastor Freddie Steele uh, with a real brief um, B-log, uh, just a little brief word of encouragement to send your way. It's prompted through the several uh, conversations I'm having with people right now who are really going through some challenges and battles. And unfortunately, they're, they're not considering the fact and the possibility and, and the probability that behind what they're enduring is, is spiritual warfare. They're trying to make changes and, and gain some uh, victory, result, answers through human means, human wisdom, logic, and understanding, and laying their spiritual weapons aside, faith, uh, prayer, praise, etc. When you're going through a, a battle in life, it is so easy to simply equate that as being a natural born battle, an earthbound, the physical natural battle. When there are times, a lot of times, that you're into a battle and it's a, it, it is initiated, instigated, or enhanced uh, through by spiritual warfare, powers of the enemy that are coming against you, especially if you are a child of God. When the enemy gets you so overly distracted and concerned about the earthly battles, we, we become suppressed. Actually, then we wind up being oppressed. But our mental faculties, our emotions, our physical well-being, all, they all become suppressed. And we turn inwardly and cognitive. We try to imagine answers, solutions, way out. And then the spirit of heaviness comes in and, and we find ourselves depressed, weighed, weighed down and so forth. And... Uh, when we're in that kind of a condition, we can be a, a prey to the enemy. And people fail to think, oh, this could be uh, won and turned around through spiritual warfare. I'm of the uh, firm conviction that spiritual warfare is more a matter of enforcement than it is fighting the same enemies that Jesus defeated 2,000 years ago. All the powers of hell were there 2,000 years ago when Jesus triumphed over death, hell, and the grave. What we do is we enforce the victory of, of the cross of Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection. And faith without works is dead. Whatever you're facing, if you will begin to turn your mind and your heart and your attention toward drawing God into it and utilizing faith, if you don't know where to begin, begin with this. Capture the thoughts of your mind that are leaning toward self-answers and self-help and which causes you to doubt and fear and and become oppressed fight those the, the that inclination and those thoughts and open your mouth find a place to get alone with God and begin to praise him because faith without works is dead if you don't know what to do to to affirm and activate your faith praise God get alone somewhere raise your hands and begin to praise him and say God I trust you and I believe you and then understand that when you feel that wave of heaviness coming upon you, declare God's word, read God's word, pronounce God's word, uh, openly praise God. If you're married, the greatest power that's probably available on earth is the agreement between a husband and a wife. When you're going through a battle, you don't need to be in disagreement. Find a way and a means to cut out the strife. The heaviness, somebody has to give in and say, I'm sorry, let's get on the same page and begin to praise God. Take her by the hand, take him by the hand and say, honey, we're going to turn our heart and our faith toward God and believe God for a supernatural resolution to the thing that we're encountering and begin to lift God up with high praise. And folks, if you'll do that, I promise you, um, uh, God because you're drawing nigh to him, he'll draw nigh to you. He will rout the enemy before you. There's power in your own praise, there's power in the spoken word of God. If you will praise God and lift up his word, it's like spraying Lysol disinfectant in a, in a, uh, in a germ-infested room. It clears the atmosphere. It will rid your home. Walk through your home, praise God, and imagine that you're spraying Holy Spirit Lysol disinfectant all through, you, through your room, all through your home. Um, lay hands on your furniture. Um, on uh, front door, back door, and, and bless your home and say, Father God, I sanctify my home, my family, for your glory, for your power, for your purpose. And we rid our home of all of the oppression. We dare to yoke our faith together with the word of God and to believe you to do the miraculous. And uh, stop trying to fight this battle with mere human weapons. God is for you. Pick up your weapons of, of supernatural warfare and watch God rout the enemy on your behalf. 
when he does so, send me a testimony. God bless you. I love you. Praying for you.